Hello, we have discussed in one of our earlier videos of firing angle control for thyristors using a trike. A trike is a bidirectional device and usually they are not suitable for very high power applications. Besides, they have quadrant problem. There are first, second, third, fourth quadrant and then uh, the quadrants in uh, second and fourth quadrant. It's a difficult situation for the trigger current, but for industrial applications, it is advisable to use back-to-back -back SCR. Here is a circuit where we have back-to-back -back SCR. There is one SCR here, there is other SCR here, there are back-to-back -back SCR. This of course is a snubber network RC which is usually connected across the thyristor and this SCRs can be of very high power, doesn't matter it could be wind 50 amperes, 100 amperes, 200, 500, 1000 amperes also. As long as the pulse transformer, these are two pulse transformers driving the gate and these pulse transformers are ultimately being driven by two transistors, one transistor here, one transistor here and they are being driven by the IC called TCA785. It's a very popular IC and uh, this will drive the these two transistors. Uh, this will be this trans this pulse transformer is for one half cycle whereas this pulse transformer is for the other half cycle. And uh, the other arrangement that we have in the circuit here, this is the uh, series circuit where we have the supply, we have the back to back SCR and then the load, this is the load. So this is the whole, this is the actually the circuit, load circuit. And these are the rest all is the triggering circuit where we have the arrangements like this. And uh, we have connected a virtual CRO also here where we have seen A, B, C, D. A is for what we get is the from 230 volts or from 220 volts what we take through a resistor we are connecting back to, uh, back to back diodes and then this point is the ground you can see this point is the ground so with a back to back uh, diodes we find about the 0.6 volts uh, will be there and this 0.6 volts will be used as reference for the zero voltage sensing so that is why a will be for zero voltage sensing b and c are for the drive and uh, d is the load so this is what is the circuit and uh, we will see and this is how we change the R value which will change the firing angle. Now we can see this. So once we operate this what we find this is the zero voltage 0 0.6 volts up and down and this is how the zero voltage sensing is coming and this is the full voltage now D. D is the full voltage and then when we go on changing this what we find how the firing angle changes. See this. The, see these. These are shifting. This will be shifting from the. This is this remaining constant. These these pulses will be shifting. This is for each half cycle. This is how it goes on shifting. It goes on shifting. As we go on shifting, we find how the firing angle is uh, gradually changing as the, the shifting of the uh, pulses to the SCR is happening. When the shifting to the SCR is happening, you find this is how the firing angle is delayed and this is how the output, you can even go down below the 90 degrees and by changing this potentiometer, we can even go beyond 90 degrees. Now we can see this potentiometer will be capable of changing from 0 degrees to even complete, it is going away from the 90 degrees also and going to very low values. As, as required even come down to so low value as you can see so uh, the limit is decided by this whereas the variation of the angle or the triggering angle is decided by this this is how we get the output it also has the provision of inhibiting the output like this switch if we operate the out it goes out completely the power goes away this is the inhibit operation this is how the whole circuit works and you can see the lamp intensity is changing thank you